Good morning guys. Uh, I am on my way to do some more crappie fishing. Um, I know it's been a little bit since I've done a video, uh, but that's not for lack of fishing. It's really for lack of fish, uh, which shouldn't surprise you. That seems to be how things have been going lately. Um, if you guys knew how many times I've been out since my last video, you'd probably be annoyed that I haven't done a video. Um, but I've been out a, uh, a few times and uh, I've done okay every trip. Um, mostly I've been doing crappie fishing. I went to the lagoon one time. Um, I was planning to go to the lagoon this morning, uh, at least thinking about it, but uh, I picked up a new Motor Guide XI3 trolling motor with GPS for the boat. And uh, I bought that specifically for crappie fishing because I get tired of running back and forth in the boat and then, you know, the trolling motor, you know, comes out of the water, the one that I have on there usually. And, uh, you know, then the boat walks a little bit and doesn't stay on course. So I figured I'd just go with a GPS trolling motor and, you know, solve all those problems. Um, now, that being said, I don't plan on using this motor in saltwater at all. So it's only for crappie season and uh, I've got it on a quick release bracket so you know, it'll take me all of five minutes to swap them out um, so you know that's one of the reasons that I'm going crappie fishing this morning um, the other is that we've had a nice cold snap and that usually gets the crappie fired up so and it's gonna be a beautiful day so it should be a nice day on the lake uh, hopefully the you know the bite will be on um, and then I'm thinking about hitting the lagoon later this week um, with this cold snap, hopefully it'll help knock down some of the algae and we might start seeing some improvements. So, I will catch you after I get back off the water and uh, talk to you later. how this goes. I uh, have the trolling motor calibrated now and we're on heading lock so I'm give it a try. See what happens. starting to get on those fish. Yep, look at that. Right there. This feels better. Ah, not bad. Alright, so it just occurred to me that it's December now, so it's a new month, so that gives me another chance to win biggest crappie for the month, too. So those are other smaller prizes that they have in the Shad Crappie Derby. I got some decent entries in for November. Um, let's see what I can do in the summer. Yeah, because the transducer takes a shot parallel to the transom of the boat. So it's just a slice right there. And when I see them there, then it takes, you know, a minute or so, a minute and a half to get back to where the lures are. So, see scattered groups, like four fish on this side, and two on this side. Oh, here comes some more. That's like a bigger fish right there. It's on this side. Another one. Two fairly large fish together. All right, let's hope.
look at this. I'm sitting here crappie fishing and watching my buddy Steve and get your fish on at the same time. What's up, Steve? left the boat ramp. Um, it was a pretty good day. I think I caught about 10 specks. Uh, a couple of them were close to being upgrades for the tournament, but uh, none of them actually were. But uh, you know, it was slow. I mean, it, to catch those 10 specks took several hours. Um, and there were a few striper mixed in, but all in all it was, it was decent enough. Um, the weather was nice. And, you know, I did a lot of messing around with the new trolling motor, the XI3. So, pretty happy with that. Um, it sure made spec fishing a lot easier. I mean, a lot easier. Anyway, pretty happy with the day. It was, uh, it was fun. And, uh, you know, I caught a few nice fish. So, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. See ya.